the idea of you know the secret societies, the secret groups who pass on knowledge to only members who are adherents to the secret groups and who initiate people who only are invited to those secret groups by another member who's already an initiate is a kind of way of passing it on in a kind of bastardized way. That same methodology of knowledge and custodianship um, which is a very African thing, but the African thing was that the knowledge we passed on on the basis of merit, not on the basis of some other quirky aspect of being. You had to qualify by merit to get it, and the best qualified person on the basis of merit would achieve it. Uh, so, so there is a way in which I think all human beings do pass on knowledge from one to another, um, uh, but obviously the way in which they may do it may not be entirely holistic. So I think Europeans do, European society and European knowledge is passed on in many ways like that, which is why often we find it so very difficult to gain access to certain knowledge, certain societies, because we don't fit, because we haven't been mentored by somebody already who's in those certain groups and what have you. Um, so um, African knowledge, my knowledge um, uh, or, or my desire was in me innately um, and growing up my parents attempted to destroy all aspects of that knowledge um, both overtly and covertly um, in every form and shape um, in very subtle and sophisticated ways and also in overt, overt ways so to realize one's potential one meant a spiritual intellectual and cultural complete separation from one's parents and siblings in order to manifest what one was. And then after that complete and absolute separation over a decade or so, a certain amount of re-engagement with some members, with some members um, of the family group uh, to manifest consciousness um, on a more holistic perspective. But it meant a total separation mm -hmm. because otherwise, like on a slave ship where the one who has jumped overboard is chained to everybody else, the one who has jumped overboard drowns not only themselves but everybody on that ship because they're chained to each other. Families can be the same sort of thing. One member who's smoking crack drags all the family down to the bottom of the sea. So to realise one's own potential, to even stop oneself from being drowned, one sometimes needs to separate those chains that bind us, unfortunately, to re-engage in a different way. Africa.